Greetings, greetings, greetings. In case you haven't heard, I am your queen love bug number one. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to my village where everyone gets taken care of and no one gets left behind. And I want to talk to y'all about something as usual. I am finally overcoming my fear of flying. There was a time when I really, 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 really struggled with flying. And I know so many people all over the universe have that same problem or have had it, where they had to get to a place where they can get on a plane and fly comfortably without having a panic attack. I don't know exactly what started my fear for flying. I know I was having some dreams at one point that I was on a plane and it crashed, but I think it was even bigger than that. But then when I started seeing a lot of planes falling out the sky, that kind of didn't help it either. But um, I had to come up with a way that I can actually fly. Because sometimes when you go on a vacation with family and friends and visit people and get there really quickly, you don't feel like these long Amtrak rides, these long Greyhound rides, these long car rides. By the time you get where you're going, if it's far enough, you're worn out just from riding, right? How many times have you took a road trip and said, when I get out this vehicle, that is it. Whatever I need to do to get on a plane going back, I'm as good as on it, right? You be worn out, you spend more time knocking the kinks out than you actually do enjoying your vacation, right? Okay. So, when I go up in the sky, there's always a method to the madness. And I have to psych myself up. So while I'm up there and I'm looking down, because I used to put in, open the window, and I would get a window seat on purpose, guys, so that I could definitely control that window. When they say, can you open the window? No, honey. <laughs> and just imagine being on a plane and you want to look out the window and you sitting next to somebody that's scared to fly and they got the window shut. Now you got to be looking out behind you or in front of you out of someone else's window. I apologize. Forgive me, people. Okay. So now, I'm going to be real. I look out the window and I just fantasize that what is God looking at when he's looking down at the world? He's over everyone looking around at people all over the universe. What do we see? And I actually spend most of the flight doing that, right? Just trying to fantasize about what is he looking at? What do we see? What do I see from here? When I'm going over the water, when I'm going over people's homes, whatever it is, the trees, whatever it is. Do I see anything that's not something I would see normally? And then it doesn't hurt if there's someone sitting next to me that likes to talk. You know you got to have a person next to you if it's not a family or friend that likes to talk. Because now we're going to engage in conversation and I'm going to try to keep my mind off the fact that I'm feeling turbulence and I'm starting to get a little nervous and things is just not feeling right on this plane and stuff is rattling and I saw some smoke one time. And come on now, let's not act like when we get on these airplanes, sometimes things is just hunky-dory because it isn't. Or some wouldn't be falling out the sky. And yes, I pray. I definitely pray. But there have been times where I said, my goodness, this plane is really, really out of control. How out of control do the plane really need to be for you to say, I'm frightened? When other people that's accustomed to flying is starting to look at each other kind of sideways like, is this plane all right? Are we going to make it to our destination in one piece? Are we going to have to get up off of here and come down out the sky? And who remember that time? when the Holy Ghost had to kick in. Who remember that plane that land in the Hudson River? And we know someone got the glory for it, right? He was an excellent pilot. We know who that pilot was that landed that plane on that water, huh? Didn't he walk on water? Y'all better ask somebody. So I'll pay attention, right? Do y'all pay attention? Don't I keep telling y'all stay woke? 
Don't you get caught slipping now. Don't you fall asleep. But yes, you know, there was a time when we had a vacation. I would say, can we get there other than flying? And if we couldn't, I would be so mad. I would be so mad. I gotta, you know, get on this airplane. And then the ones who's comfortable, they're having cocktails and they're enjoying their flight and they're eating food and they're, you know, can't wait. They up on their phone recording and I'm sitting over there looking. <laughs> and then what makes me get upset is when someone sit there and say, relax. Relax. Do you feel this plane? And I know some of y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. And then, you know, now it's time to land. And you get off the plane. And you can kiss the soil, right? Because you're just so glad to be off that plane. But how about when it's not a straight through flight and now you got to go back up in the air again? It ain't going to happen, people. I don't go up in the air twice in one day. That's a rule. <laughs> we had a family reunion about maybe a summer or two ago. And everybody was getting their life flying. And I decided I didn't want to fly. And all the Christians was mad at me. They was preaching to me. You got to faith. You got to trust God. That's not of God. I mean, they chewed me up and spit me out, right? And you know they'll do that to you, right? Especially when they want you to do something that they want you to do. Everybody get the Holy Ghost all of a sudden, right? They said whatever they wanted to. But I was just looking at them because they were, no matter what they were saying, they knew I wasn't getting myself on that plane. And they was talking and I was... <laughs> and that gets on folks' nerves, don't it? When they know that they whatever they saying is falling on deaf ears, cause you're not listening and you really don't care what they got to say. <laughs> and anybody who know me know that once I get my mind set, it's set. So just leave me alone. Just let me bathe in my little fear by myself for a little while. And I didn't fly that time. I just didn't feel comfortable. I don't know what was going on, but something told me not to fly. But now I'm trying to get to a place where I'm saying, you know, Jesus, I trust you, you Lord. And if I have to get on that plane, then I'm going to have to put my life in your hands. And even though in my belly is still a little inks of fear that anything could happen on this plane, I'm not going to go on that plane and have a panic attack. But I also do not take flights that's more than a couple of hours either because that's a whole nother subject. But you know, I'm sure some of you have experienced because I've noticed other people that's on the plane that fear flying. And a lot of people in my family is actually afraid to fly too. They're not getting on no plane neither. So at least I don't have to go by myself, right? Because it's nothing like you having to go by yourself because everybody else is getting on the plane. Then we got those who are afraid to get on a boat or cruise or they get sick when they go on water. So at least I can I stay in that because I do have some loved ones that they cannot get on the boat. That boat and them not going to get them on. And I can at least get in a car without getting sick because some people can't even get in a car without getting sick, right? So we all have our struggles. And no matter how much you try to say, well, I, I, I do the right thing over all there's always something that you still struggle with a little bit, if not a whole lot, right? So, I'm just here to tell you that if you have a little bit of a fear of flying, we're going to say a little bit, right? Or a whole lot of fear of flying. Exhale, breathe through it, and find something while you're up in that air that will occupy your mind and help you to not think about every little part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because you know what? You made it, right? And so did I. I made it from one destination to the next, and I was safe and sound. And I guess I was just doing a whole lot of worrying for nothing. But I guess that's what we do when we're fearful. So don't be fearful. Get on that plane, let your confidence kick in, and enjoy yourself. And guess what? If there's someone on the plane that's fearful, and you happen to be on there, 
try to help comfort them. Mind somebody else's business and say, it's okay. I used to be afraid to fly too. Because sometimes when you're friendly and you're kind, people don't mind a kind word if you're minding their business. And for all of you that's up in the sky, have a safe flight. God bless you all, and thank you all for listening. I am your Queen Bell Bunk number one. Welcome to my village, and thank you.